Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm um, back with another Fake Grand Order video. What's today's video? It's not the video I was originally planning, because I'm running out of time on that. It's another video. It's what I'm doing currently on the downtime that we have, which is just grinding heroes proofs non-stop. <laughs> because I ran out of heroes proofs because I got my Herc to um, uh, full max and I ran out of heroes proof. So that's going to be today's video as I just calmly grind heroes proof in the background and then just kind of talk for a bit for about eight minutes because it's been a while since i made a video so you know just let's just have a sit back and chill for a bit um in case you're wondering hey what's going on so funny enough um i have had a video planned out and i have it about ready and then i it's not coming out the way that i wanted so i keep there's a lot of like silly like not like math but there is enough of it to make it go like, God damn it. And I keep messing up on it. I keep messing up on the count and I kept having to redo the video because I was like working on it, working on it, working on it. I'm like, well, if I mess up the actual value total of it, then I'm kind of screwed up. And then the entire video is kind of ruined. And then I have to put to the top of the video someone saying, hey, Wokey's an idiot. He put the wrong number. Here's the actual number. And I have to go, God damn it. He's right. It's not fair, but he is right. <laughs> so I'm working on it a little bit more. I probably have to do an actual written down for it because I am trying to find a natural way of saying it. It's it's another set, it's trying to save up for 300 tickets thing. And then just like so many like t tiny little mistakes are in it that it's actually kind of annoying to record, which is why I'm immediately, I had to stop it because I was like, damn it, I'm running out of time before someone comes home. Um, so I have to stop recording the video. I actually have a very weird window of time to record stuff and it is all dependent on a lot of different factors um, because I share the space. So therefore, sometimes I have a lot of times to record and that's great and people have to deal with me listening to me record and then other times I have to uh, not record and wait it out because it's only fair that it's that way. But <laughs> that's how the recording session goes. It's very different from when I was doing uh, Dragalia stuff. Because in Dragalia stuff, I was in like a hallway by myself. And for the most part, as long as... Um, as actually, it was actually way worse. It was actually 10 times worse. Because there was occasionally someone who would snore in the middle of the room and it would ruin recordings. So I would have to actively... Um, I couldn't tell them, hey, can you get out of here? Because it was their house. <laughs> I would, the place I was staying in was not my own. So it's not like I could just say, hey, could you kindly get out of the way? Um, that's not the right way of approaching it. So what I would say to them, I wouldn't say anything to them. What I would do is I would start making enough noise to wake them up and make them realize, oh, I should go to bed. And then they would go to bed and turn off the TV and stop snoring in the middle of the, of the place that we were in. Which is very funny. It was very annoying. So it was a better uh, kind of uh, recording situation here. I prefer it this way way more than I prefer the other one. Because at least in this one, I can talk it out and say like, Hey, as long as it's before then, we're good. And to be fair, I had plenty of time. It's just that I kept fucking up. And I kept making mistakes. And I was like, oh, god damn it. I've been making a lot more mistakes in videos. And usually, I think it's actually, I make the same amount of mistakes in videos. <laughs> It's just that I think I care slightly more now because I think more people come to the channel more now. So now I have to be a little bit, well, that makes me at least motivated to be like, well, now I have to actually care just slightly more. Not to say that I didn't care beforehand, but it was just more of a case of just like, you know what? I'm going to upload this. I'm going to say it here. Here's what I feel like. Here you go. But then there's more people coming. So it makes me go like, well, now I have to do better because there's a little bit more people expecting it and there's a lot more i guess pressure that wasn't there beforehand it's easier to do something when you know no one's watching but it's a lot different when it was like like it's different when i would go like you know what i'm gonna upload this and then it's fine like for example this one i know for example it's like oh i'll be lucky to get like 50 on them and i was happy with 50 but then they started to be much higher than 50 and it made me go oh well let me um try and be slightly more professional or at least do a little bit better um so in the past i would have gladly like let those slip by and be like well if i made a mistake then oops and then i'll say oopsie daisy in the comments but nowadays i try not to do that as much i try and make sure that i catch them beforehand and do all that different stuff the true difference of showing that maybe you've um gone a little bit higher and stuff but i'm very appreciative of all the 
new found people that show up for it. Feels kind of nice. We're getting pretty close to going over 4,000. I say we as if it's like, I mean, I guess it technically I would count the, it's, it's a family channel, technically speaking. The Are You Ready For Another Adventure actually comes from an old uh, Hamtaro video I did with my brother and sister, except for that one it was, Are You Ready For Another Fucking Adventure? And then that eventually just became the thing I said. And then I had to stop saying fuck at the beginning of it because YouTube automates it, so you have to like wait a couple minutes before you set, drop the F-bomb. Um, um, so that's why I don't say, are you ready for another fucking adventure in the front of videos anymore? But if you go back to the old ones, I totally do do that. <laughs> it changes over time. It's a true experience. But yeah, that's a long way of me saying like, yeah, so... Um, it's being prepared. It should hopefully be ready by tomorrow. And then I have a... I, tomorrow I have a lot of other things to record, but if I write down specifically what I want to say, that should make it a little bit easier. I have already a Word document with all, like, the statistics of things I have to bring up, but it makes it much easier for me if I just go, like, okay, here's what I'm saying. Because right now I'm, like, trying to find the correct flow, but the flow is not showing up. It's a little, it's weirdly frustrating, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Maybe it would help if I actually looked back at the old Ibuki video and I heard, how did he do it? Because if you don't know, my memory is very bad. So sometimes I'll have a specific format and I'll keep doing it. Because at that point it's like, well, I'm already doing it. But if it's something that was like slightly off kilter from what I usually do, I won't remember what I did. So for the Ibuki one, I don't remember what I did. And I don't remember if it took this much time to also talk about it then. Um, but I'll have to see for myself and be like, okay, well, let me go back and make sure that it all works out. But, man, frustrating stuff for sure. But it's okay. Uh, comes with the territory of new things. Just the same as it comes with the territory of Heroes Proofs coming up. There is, like, no Heroes Proofs in anything. Um, it's a slow grind. I realized it after it was like, well, I have the two... Um, mission things that makes it go by in theory 5% 10% higher drop rate but it 10% is like not that much in the grand scheme of things um, it's a real pain in the ass to get through it all that's for sure as you go through it and you're like well eventually I should get a couple of them I think the most I got like yesterday doing it was like 20 something and I was like that was after a full AP bar of everything. I'm like, God, man, I just do not want to show up on this pirate ship anymore. I'm done with this pirate ship. And that's basically what I've been doing since uh, a couple days back, is just grinding this pirate ship over and over and over again. <laughs> and, uh... Now you, know my you Now I know the true struggle of it? What, are you, what have you been grinding? Proof of, Proof of Heroes as well? Have you also been grinding the Proof of Heroes on the pirate ship? It's annoying as hell. <laughs> I don't know why they decided that this pirate ship will have the best drop rate of Proof of Heroes, and then that's it. They dropped a CE for it, and they're like, nope, this isn't a new node to farm in. Go to the pirate ship. That's crazy. Man. Uh, it's a pain in the ass, especially because I had 100, and then they all went to Herc, and I lost them all. They're all gone now. Ape's gone. I ascended my units too, but no, it's true. You, I, I remember way back when I was doing all the ascension stuff, I did run into the problem of running out of proof of heroes, but I want to say that there was a lottery event that gave a lot of them. And that's where a lot of my proof of heroes came from. And then from then on, I never grinded for proof of heroes ever again. And I feel like that is now clearly coming to bite me in the ass after so many years. Because I also use my pure prisms on him. I literally have no options left. I have to grow grind on this pirate ship. Um, yeah, it's a real it's a real pain in the ass, but it, it gets going. And it keeps going. Just like as it goes on in the background here. That's why I was like, well, if I wanted to do a video talking about what's going on now, this is what's going on. This is the real. This is the real. This, 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 exactly. This is a shoot, brother. This is what... This is for go. This is not the... If you look at videos of Fago, there I'm sure there's a lot of people talking about let's talk about the team comp. Nah man. This is Fago. Pick team. Grind team. Team grind. Drop happen. Drop doesn't happen. Sadness. Re re redo it again. 
redo it again and you go back up on there and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and the best way to play for go is to eventually get so many materials during lotto is that you never have to grind that material again until years pass or something worse happens there's a unit that you really love that uses all of them and somehow you have to go like um oh shit i forget there's like three skills and now there's five of pens good luck does uh herc still use a pens for his uh uh, a proof of heroes for his appends. Is it really? I thought it was slightly different. <laughs> I didn't say it. I I thought when I looked at it. Yeah, it's different. All right, don't scare me like that. It is different. For it, I'm looking at it right here. Skill reinforcement for append. It is uh same. Yeah, it's a giant's bracelet instead, and the um. Yes, it's it's that in the primordial um, lang lingua lingua. Instead of hearts, it's talons, which isn't that bad, but still. This... Yeah, act act. I'm talking about a pen. Active. That's where all my proof of heroes went to. Because if you don't know, for each skill, it requires um, sixty. Yeah, sixty. So I did that for all three of them at the same time. So I took down 180 proof of heroes in about the span of eight seconds. Yeah, no, I, that's the reason why I got the I, I chose Herc. He's not level 100. He's level 80. He's MP3. If I get him to MP5, I'll get him to MP100. <laughs> I'll get him to the work with NP100. <laughs> Just wow! <laughs> Instantly destroys whatever. Exactly. Uh, no, I'll get him to level 100 if I ever get him to MP5. The fact that I only have MP3 and I've been playing the game for 7 years <laughs> maybe says how hard it is to actually get her to MP level 5. I barely got. You want to say that? that how long I've been playing it? I finally got my first Carmella. R really? You really didn't have Carmella until oh, right now? Oh my god. Yeah, you live a different life from me. I have I have original Liz like I think MP5 finally. I love original Liz. I think she's a fun unit. She's definitely one of those units where it's like I probably if you're looking in some kind of chart, I'm sure you would probably place her somewhere close to the mid tier. But she's such a fun unit to actually use. Um, and she's like female focused on her buffs and stuff like that. Makes it very easy to kind of like build a very silly team and just kind of make use of her there. Um, Man. That's... Yeah, new Liz coming soon. I've also debated getting all my Liz's to um, level 10. <laughs> Just so when the, ro the event rolls around, I can say check it out and put them all up on a friends. Put them up all on the friends list that no one will use. Because <laughs> no one will use. I can use both of them. Lore? Um, that's a good question to ask right now. I'd... Is it really that much wine? Oh, let me look at the wine. I I should. I forgot that it's all golden material. That's the one thing I forgot about it. For... Huh. I see. Um, that's a lot of material. I think at that point, I think I would have to use my entire supply. Of one. Yes. Let me see. Seven times six. Forty-two um wine. Forty-two dragon reverse scales. Do you put up Liz's that no one will use? But I want them to know I have them, and I support Liz in her endeavor. Exactly. Only cowards don't don't support Liz. Wait, she does? 
Hero. No! <laughs> that is 36 for two, 36 for two skills? Oh my god, that's so unbelievably annoying. My Dragon Fang situation is pretty good. The only, literally, only proof of heroes is bad, and that's because I went down 160 in like eight, like I said, eight seconds, without without thinking, without blinking. I did it, and then I went. Wait a minute, I thought I had more, and I did not have more. I had zero. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I have like 300 bones. But that's the, the thing is, like 300 bones, it's like 180 of those disappear on one unit. Dragon Fangs might actually be the thing that would be... 48 Dragon Fangs? That's insane. I don't I don't think I, I got that kind of... not even bringing up the fact of 9 tattoo Eliza. Oh yeah, that's right. I think she... Hers is because... Dragon Fangs. She uses Yixedril Seeds. Still seeing, I have plenty of those, I thankfully. Fuck. It's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Somehow she uses the Hozuki, Demonic Flame, and then 12 scale of games. Um, bad news. I just remembered. I need the materials for Cuckoo. Yes. So, <laughs> I, I can't. She, <laughs> she uses dra 10 Dragon Fangs, Phoenix Plums, Snake Jewels, Talon of Chaos. This is where I show you that doing the She uses 45 wine as well for all three of the skills. And then. She uses 60 bones? Oh my god. I have one of hers up, I think. Now I'm starting to remember why I never went back and leveled up the skills of older units. I forgot some of them have absurd requirements on them. And for the appends of Cuckoo, it's uh, 15 comet shards. So, yeah, for for the append on level 8. So, god damn, I didn't even realize. Oh my god. I'm going to have to start maybe doing videos, talking about, grinding more materials. You have to do more grinding more materials. <laughs> well, I'll, well, now that you're here, I may as well, for next time, just bring you on and we'll just talk whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you, obviously you're working when you're not working, boy. I didn't realize that. But for, but for now, I think that's enough pirate ship grinding. That's like 20 minutes. Yeah, I know something funny. Go ahead. You're going for Tez, aren't you? Yes. It's 72 of the new material for one skill. This video is done. What the fuck do you mean? Tez needs 72 Twilight Ceremonial Blades. For one a pen skill? No. No. What do you mean? Why? This fucker has five of pen skills. You're telling me you want to go full pen with Tez? You hold up. Where's the calculator? Seventy-two times five. You need three hundred and sixty. How many do I have? No, the pen. I need three hundred and sixty. I put I wasted all these on fucking um on on all the the Trom servants. 
I have 67. I also didn't mention that he needed, because uh, I was more ex excited by the 72. He needs... 72 bullets as well. 72 bullets. Thank you very much for watching the video, everyone. We'll be back for more grinding at a later point. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.